Want to give your child an edge before his or her next athletic tryout, audition, or exam? Here are five techniques author Daniel McGinn says parents or anyone can use to get into the best mindset before a high stakes performance. Number one, recall past successes. Reflecting on specific past performances with good outcomes can boost confidence. Parents can encourage this by saying things like, hey, I have a video of your amazing winning goal last season. Want to watch it? Or remember when you studied so hard and aced that science final? Giving a talk to a board of directors versus being in a wrestling match. Obviously, you need a different kind of energy to do those things, but you need confidence. So anything you can do to boost your confidence before any of those activities is gonna help. Number two, use visual priming by creating an environment with inspirational pictures, trophies, and other images and symbols of accomplishment. There is science behind it. Your subconscious is as important as your conscious goals and it shows how easy it is uh, to increase your performance by looking at stimuli that suggest achievement. We showed one group a picture of rodents, the statue, the thinker. So the thinker is deep in thought, chin on hand, deep in thought. In another group, they simply see a neutral picture, um, much like what I'm staring at on, the, on my computer screen. And we give them uh, 20 minutes or so, and those who saw a picture of Rodin's The Thinker did much better on the task than those who saw a neutral photograph. Number three, shift anxiety to excitement, because trying to calm down and then psych yourself up is a lot harder than moving sideways from anxiety to a positive high-frequency emotion. So instead of saying, don't be nervous, suggest getting excited about having the opportunity to show off skills. It's called cognitive reappraisal. Feeling anxious tends to be quite debilitating. We worry about how things could go wrong and it decreases our ability to perform well and focus uh, on, on difficult tasks. People who reappraise or reframe their anxiety as excitement perform significantly better than people who try to calm down or even just acknowledge their anxiety by saying, I'm anxious. Number four, ritual, routine, and superstition really work. Researchers aren't entirely sure why, but pre-performance routines or cherished talismans seem to offer something to calmly focus on and help recall past success as well as actions learned in practice. So let your child wear that same lucky jersey to shreds or listen to that same song for the hundredth time. Which brings us to number five. Let your child control the playlist. Music can improve mood and boost energy, so let their musical tastes dominate the car ride. The three takeaways before game time, you want to boost confidence, transform anxiety to excitement, and optimize energy levels for the task ahead. All while keeping in mind, teenagers can be tricky. Teenagers are inherently suspicious of anything that parents try to do to, um, in this regard, because I'm writing a book about this, my teenagers are especially suspicious. 